welcome to another episode of lovehorsepower.com. Today we got an exciting episode for you. In fact, so exciting is this episode, I even went and cut my hair for it. Of course now, losing the hair a little bit, probably because of too much turbo boosting. Today we're going to be installing an Airmotive fuel pressure regulator using our own new Love Horsepower fuel pressure regulator installation kit for the MR2 Turbo. Now, why are we installing a fuel pressure regulator when the MR2 already comes from the factory with a boost pressure sensitive regulator installed? Good question. First, we need a little history on this MR2. We've already installed larger fuel injectors and the Apexy air fuel computer. The air fuel computer works by intercepting the airflow signal, adjusting it, and then sending that on to the engine control unit. The airflow signal is the primary signal the engine control unit uses to control the injectors and ignition timing. Right now, we're telling the engine control unit that there is less air going into the engine. The engine control unit responds by injecting less fuel because, as far as it's concerned, there's less load on the engine. This is exactly what we want. However, the problem is the engine control unit, because it is seeing less load, is advancing that ignition timing. And that's not what we want at all. In fact, we seem to have hit some sort of tuning brick wall because we have to run the engine so rich because of that advanced ignition timing to avoid detonation. Every time we take out fuel with the air fuel computer, the ECU responds by advancing the ignition timing. So we've got an engine running mega rich with too much ignition in advance. With the Love Horsepower Regulator Kit, we'll be able to reduce the base fuel pressure and then increase the signal the engine control unit sees from the airflow meter to inject more fuel to compensate for the lower base fuel pressure, but without advancing that ignition timing. This will allow us to run the engine more lean but without all that timing being added in. We will still take advantage of the larger fuel injectors by running only slightly less fuel pressure, but at the same time, this will give us a more accurate way to tune that fuel mixture. Now let's go take a look at the new regulator kit. Okay, this is the new Love Horsepower fuel pressure regulator installation kit for the MR2 Turbo. It comes with an air motive fuel pressure regulator adjustable from 30 to 70 PSI, a fuel pressure gauge to keep track of that fuel pressure from 0 to 100 PSI, high quality fittings, hose, hose clamps, everything you need to make installation on the stock MR2 turbo fuel system a breeze. But before we get to installation, we're going to take the MR2 out for a little G-teching to see what kind of horsepower numbers we can put down. We're going to take the average of at least three runs so that we get a good value. Let's go do some boosting. Okay, we're out here on this beautiful morning to measure rear wheel horsepower using our GTEC meter. Now, we've lowered the boost pressure from 17.7 PSI down to 15.6. The reason for that is we want to make sure we don't run into any problems with detonation while we're tuning the car before and after we get the regulator installed. After we do get installed, we'll re-measure rear wheel horsepower to see what kind of gains we get. Let's try this thing out. Zero our meter. Let's go. Second gear, pedal the metal. Two hundred and twenty seven horsepower at the wheels. Two hundred and twenty eight rear wheel horsepower. Two hundred and forty one horsepower. Two hundred and thirty six horsepower at the wheels. Alright, we're back from G-Teching, where we took the average of 4 runs and came up with 233 rear wheel horsepower. We're already start getting wrenched on this thing by removing the two 14mm bolts and two 14mm nuts holding on that strut tower brace. Okay, we got our strut tower brace removed by removing the two 14mm bolts and two 14mm nuts. Next up, we'll be removing the intake pipes leading up to the throttle body and then take off that throttle body to get to the fuel pressure regulator. Let's go! Now remove the four 12mm bolts holding on the throttle inlet pipe. Then remove the two 12mm bolts and the two 10mm bolts holding on the throttle body bracket. And now we can unbolt that throttle body with just four 12mm bolts. And then just swing that throttle body out of the way without removing those coolant lines. Next up we gotta remove that EGR assembly. Start off by removing this one 12 millimeter bolt. Then remove the two 12 millimeter bolts holding the EGR assembly onto the intake manifold. 
Then remove those two Allen screws and the EGR assembly will just come on out. Now we can clearly see the fuel pressure regulator. We're almost there, but we need to remove that fuel rail first. Move the cold start injector by removing the two 12mm bolts. Keep track of where those washers go. There's two per bolt. Then remove the two 10mm bolts holding the wiring harness onto the intake manifold. Then just pull that rail on out. After removing the 10mm bolt that holds the fuel inlet pipe in place, you're ready to remove that fuel pressure regulator. And look at that, you got that stock fuel pressure regulator removed. Okay, we removed our throttle body inlet pipe, the throttle body, and just moved it out of the way so we didn't have to remove those coolant lines. Next up, remove the exhaust gas recirculation assembly, the cold start injector pipe, remove the fuel rail, and now we're ready to uninstall the stock fuel pressure regulator and install the Love Horsepower Regulator Kit. Let's get it done! From the Love Horsepower Regulator Kit, install the 90 degree blue fitting into the fuel rail. Then screw on one of the barbed fittings. Install the hose and hose clamp included with the kit, and then reinstall that fuel rail. Now before we reinstall the fuel rail, it's a good idea to install some new insulators. Slide right on. This will prevent vacuum leaks. We're ready to install that fuel rail. Alright, we got our stock fuel pressure regulator out, and we installed one of the fittings included with the Love Horsepower Kit onto the fuel rail, and then reinstalled that fuel rail. We're now ready to find a mounting location for our air motor fuel pressure regulator. But first, we need to install some of the hardware included with the kit, and this fuel pressure gauge. Then we can get it installed. Alright, let's see here. And here's the air motor fuel pressure regulator assembly ready to install. It includes the two bar fittings and the fuel pressure gauge. We got that air motor fuel pressure regulator installed and ready for tuning. Okay, by jumpering the FP and plus B terminals on the diagnostic port using our Torta Special Service Tool, aka wire, we're able to turn on that fuel pump without starting the engine. Now the MR2 stock runs a base fuel pressure of between 33 and 38 psi. Now that is of course with the engine off and hence no vacuum. So let's turn on that fuel pump and see what kind of fuel pressure we're running now. Okay, it looks like we're running just slightly under 50 PSI fuel pressure. Now I'm going to use the Allen wrench to turn that fuel pressure down. Alright, and once you get that fuel pressure adjusted, you just tighten that lock nut and you're good to go. fuel pressure regulator installed using the Love Horsepower Insulation Kit. We had a little trouble reinstalling the fuel rail, but once we finagled it around a little bit, it dropped right into place. We also found a good location right here on top to install that fuel pressure regulator to make it easy to see and adjust that fuel pressure. Now, next time on Love Horsepower, we're going to show you how to tune this thing without taking it to an expensive dyno and get it tuned right. We'll see you then.